Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Alladhi bi ni'matihi Tatimu salihat Wa bi karamihi Turfa'u darajat Wa bi fadlihi Tunalu al-barakat Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Wahdahu la sharika lah Alimu al-ghaybi Wa shahadat وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أفضل من صام وقام واعتكف ابتغاء رفيع الجنات صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فيا إباد الله أوسيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل فإن التكواه خير ما نبتغيه في رمضان قال سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون من رسبكتب الفام الدم من أنرب البرادرز والسيسترز في الإسلام ودي بريز الله سبحانه وتعالى the Almighty Allah when I threw in favor of them, the good things them were able to accomplish them. The Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when I threw in honor, in majesty, in generosity, we were able to rise, go to the higher level them of Iman. The Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when I threw in bounties them with the able for win and get plenty of blessings them and reward them for sake of the good work they will be to do. Would they testify for sin and body or they will ever deserve worship except in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the in one grain na in the diwa we sabi what he hide and what he open na so again would they testify for sin the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam na Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in servant and in messenger and in the best of mankind we don't ever fast for Allah and pray for Allah and make it a calf. All of that one they forsake the higher, higher levels them inside the paradise. We we'll ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may bestow in peace and in blessings upon our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and upon all in companions them and all the one they will be to say they follow in way of life and we still continue for the follow in way of life. Allah we'll subhanahu wa ta'ala in peace and in blessings then they upon we all. Respectable brothers and sisters in Islam, me and you once again, now we lifetime with the witnessed moments we didn't describe for being the best of moments in the life of human being that is world. And that the fellow witness the season of Ramadan. The season of Ramadan being the best of all season, inside this season, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pick out, days them and night them where it please them for let it choose that night say ah for let them be the best of night them in the life of human being allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create everything or a book a yachluk or maya sha'u wa yachtar they create everything that you choose out of what you don't create is specialized some with additional favors and additional blessings them now in the day we will be to say create human beings them choose amongst we the human beings and the prophets them and the righteous people them and make them let them be the best of human beings them. And choose and then create the places them and choose Mecca and Medina and Jerusalem and the massage them for let them be the best of places them. Now in the day we will create the days them and choose for we the day of Arafah will be the best of day among the days them of the year. Now in the day we will create the night them and choose for we then ten nights say yeah we be a you the experience so right now will let them be the best of night them among the night them of the year. What he make the night say also best me respectable brothers and sisters of Islam. Now for second what in the inside the night say yeah what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala he put inside a single night we better pass one thousand month. And that that the night will be all they refer to as Laylatul Qadr. For Quran say, Laylatul Qadri khayru min alfi shahar. The night of destiny, the night of power. It better pass 1,000 months. Respectable brothers and sisters in Islam, 
He called for the, any human being we anxious, we ambitious for the even goodness in, in life. Lay in no joke with them beautiful nights say so what did he experience in life? The Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he not been ever joke with them nights say he be always the worship Allah, he be always the young for close to Allah. But when the nights say yes, so they come, he become a different human being. We Mama Aisha radiallahu anha, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a beloved wife, he describe them for me and you. A description where you find for them, pay attention. Let we look at them carefully, let we see how best we serve him, he will emulate them inside that description there. وماما عائشة رضي الله عنها تقشي كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا دخل العشر أحيا الليل وأيقظ أهله وجد وشد المئزر يسيد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم whenever the last ten nights of Ramadan they enter it is spend the whole night on worship it is wake up in family if they make extra effort, more than the effort we did do before, then he say it they tighten up the belt or the tighten up itself. Here upon this great and powerful hadith, Umar Aisha radiallahu anha described the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with four things. Then the first one is say ihya ulayl, must spend the whole night of worship. Now in the world we teach we for say we been in practice. For pray and also for sleep. But when the night say ya so come, sleep no day inside the night say ya. For seka, the good thing with the install, the gem, the treasure what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in store inside them beautiful night say ya. Secondly, he say he been a wake up in family. So he not been engaged in one grain with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and left in family behind them. Your family now your responsibility. Your family now they now you for care for them, and one of the best way where you care for them and protect them, care them, go near Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Almighty Allah command you in the Quran, say, Ya ayu ladina amana, ku an fusakum bu ahlikum nara. He say, oh, una we believe, una save una self, and save una family them from the hellfire. So you know for left them behind. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, maybe they engage in family, they wake them all up. Not a time for sleep, please. A time will be to say we all for embark on worship. We all for connect ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we will be among the fortunate ones him for with this beautiful night sooner the Lala to Qadri night. Thirdly, he say Jadda. Jadda simply means for make extraordinary effort. It been they make effort before. But when time then like a this then come, the effort is they multiply back again because the reward way they install is that night and a multiple reward. We don't get measurement at all. Then the last one is Shad al Mi'zar. Shad al Mi'zar is a tighten up in process. It's been a tighten them up. This is a kind of language you can call it Kinaya. Kinaya is for describe something in another form. They could me and you can talk normally, but we look at language and say this, you don't come and come. Now, for let me tighten up with Ojade. For tighten up his trusses so that everybody put the on board and be active and be powerful and empower yourself to worship them, particular moment. Say, yeah, them for description say, yeah, so they're very, very interested. And you find for them, we pay attention for them that this is the moment, same we will spend time with Allah in a moment, same we've been make effort before, make more. This is not time we be to say, you for cut off with the world. And connect yourself with Allah because you know if at all you could be fortunate for win this beautiful night same again in your lifetime. Let's look at the brothers and sisters in Islam. Let me share together how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam be the engaged the night say yeah. What in have been the worship self, what in have been the activities the way we to say with the impact yourself upon so that me and you will try your best to follow my katana. It is among the things that we've been engaging self for my brother and sisters in Islam, Ali Itikaf. Ali Itikaf for make Itikaf inside the masjid. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he prays. He wonder would he do that. He say, Wa antum aakifuna fil masajid. He say, Una de make itikaf inside the masajid. 
The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then described and for say, كان يعتقف العشر الأواخر من رمضان حتى كبده الله. And describe and for say, be always they do itikab inside the masjid, inside the last ten nights there, until the table Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been taken life. And this itikab, what it actually mean? Itikab means for say, for let you seclude your heart. That is, connect your heart and your body all with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Cut off your engagement then with the world. And spend time only with Allah. Then you keep Allah in company inside the masjid. And that they mean by itikaf. Then you keep Allah in company. Let your heart connected to Allah. Your body again connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a special place. When inside the masjid. And that made them say the itikaf. You get two pillars them. The two pillars they will be inside it. The first one is the intention. Where you forget. Then the second one. And for they spend time inside the masjid. You need to make it a in your house, you need to make it a in a cave, you need to make it a on top mountain or any other side, except inside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in house when the masjid. And then among the rulings and where they govern this itikaf, we find for them we know. Number one, not for move out of the masjid except for something with a necessity, something will drive it towards that, or attend to your nature or get something for it. Now the only reason that name for taking out of the masjid. While you're there in this state of etikaf, of course, a haram for let you get any uh, intimate connection with your wife. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Wala tu bashiru hunna wa antum akifuna fil masajid. Una no meet with una wife them while una dipa make etikaf inside the masjid. Another also condition for them that for women they will want for duam, they will be free from the menstrual period and for also free from that post. Uh, maternal blood when they come after we be to say they deliver a baby child. Then again, uh, a very important why you did not demand you make it a calf for let you keep yourself clean, let you maintain very fine appearance. You can't keep company with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, creator. You don't mean to say if you keep yourself rough, if you wear very your clothes, if you just make yourself careless like that. No. If you beautify yourself, wear the best of clothes, then use nice and fine perfume in your body. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa described and for say, it be the passing head by a window for letting wife comb a head for her. They comb here for her. So that it will be, it be somebody with presentable, fit, appearance-wise. Because it is spent time with in Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, of course, possibly they inside it, a calf, you know, commodity for go visit, possibly seek, you know, the commodity for go witness burial ceremony. Uh, for women, they will want to do that. It allow, if at all, fits not the inside. That is, if you be to say, then come on at the masjid, you know, will cause trouble for themselves or for other people, them. Then it allow for them themselves again, they make it come inside the masjid. This can be one of the first activities them. Where the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam may be the embark on whenever the last ten nights he has to come, cut off the dunya totally, and spend time with Allah subhanahu wa taala inside the masjid. Another activity we have been engaged in, sal part the brothers and sisters in Islam, now for search out desperate search for ladder to cut them, desperate search. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam became for hadith where Ibn Abbas reports he say. That the Prophet talks in Il Tamisuha for the Ashr al Awakhir mi Ramadan. When I search out for the night of Qadr inside the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So, in no specify for me, they're not fixed and say that this night or that night, although several hadiths and they will come. Some hadiths and Kawe mention the odd uh, days them the 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th. But, however, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam generalized and say, "Let me search out for this night here inside the last ten nights." And so spend the whole ten nights. Uh, not begin the gamble and some pounds some mango. Say, "Well, maybe not today. Let go now, boss. Maybe not tomorrow. Let let stay home." No, spend all the nights uh, so that when the night they come, they already meet up you. You dey pass out Allah subhanahu wa taala and do what they please Allah subhanahu wa taala. This is to Qadr, my brother and sisters, them in Islam, a value is so great, is so powerful that it calls for the every human being, Muslim, man, and woman, for let them be desperate in, in the search for this particular night here. So while they spending time with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
It is among the baptism of this night and the scam of winning the Quran for say a better pass one thousand months. One thousand months is about eighty-three years of worship. Then the scribe and again in the Quran they say inna anzalna fi laylatil mubarakah that we repeat the Quran inside the blessed nights. So that night day, that night we full of blessing. Also again then the scribe that night day for say on that night day then they distribute. The what in Allah don't test him, it don't mark for the happen inside the ear. That that night day it release some come out from Allah and Mahfuz and put under the hands of the angels. And Allah say fi ha yufraku kullu amrin hakim. He said that inside this night year, so then they release every issue way be to say it based upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and wisdom. What did they happen on that year day? Would I get for leave? Would I get for die? Would I get for get a promotion? Would I get for do this or that? And say even the person way they go hajj that year day, then they mention by name, say this person here, it go hajj on that in that particular year day. That then that the Early destiny where they happen on my life. The destiny they will up to four to five times them. The first one, now the overall destiny where govern everything before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create this world. Hadith tell me say, Kataba Makadira Kulli Shay, Kabla and Yahluka Samawatul Al Khamsin Sana. He said 50 years before Almighty Allah created this world. Now you don't write everything which will happen in this world. Down in the store inside the Lawhil Mahfuz. Nobody knows about it today. Not an angel knows about it today. No human being knows about it today. No prophet knows about it today. That means that the eternal destiny, Allah subhanahu wa don't fix way. Nothing knows the way they change up. The other one that the destiny way be to send that the that the then call unto a takdir al umuri. The destiny way get for do with your life. That is now you individually. The same way be to say. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the creature during the process of creation inside Mama and Mumba. Now that tell you they give for send an angel where they come, blow the life, and then write the destiny where we to say that particular human being they give a face in this particular world. That and the second aspect of destiny. The third aspect of destiny in this is, is yearly destiny where they happen. Every year, every layla to the cover the night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they release. What did they happen all for that particular year? They are attending now. Some of the angels say, we responsible for undertaking some of the activities them are that, and they then get aware of things they get for happen inside that particular year. They no human being, they're not going to say that one day. Then the final one, that the everyday destiny. Every day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inside the Quran, it describes himself, see, kulla yawmin huwa fishan. Every day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they in some affairs them. It is prescribed life for this, prescribed death for this, prescribed goodness for that day, wealth for that one day, health for that day, this for that one day, all of that one day is based upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your wisdom. Me and you, we don't have to ask him for that. All we need for do is surrender ourselves to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala done destined for me, and then we make effort for work. Then I'm going to have a destiny. You know, what is destiny for you. So, no have a rather work. When the hadith says, so they come, some sahaba, they come in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They say, Allah not taking you Allah that we don't have one day. Now they tell them, say, no. They say, Imalu, we don't work. Fakullu mu yassaru lima khuli kala. Everybody, they will make easy for them. Uti Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't mark for them. So that's all that happens in Allah to Qadri. Allah to Qadri again and describe them for say, plenty of the angels and the candle, including Jibri alayhi salam. Tanazzalul malaika tu warru hufiha. Bi idni rabbihim min kulli amru. Several angels and will come. Nobody knows about the number. They say the number of angels will come up in plenty past the number of stones them and the number of the seed of sun sand in the world. The number of angels will be come up inside that particular night. Say. Then again, they describe and for say, Salam, here, Hatam, Atala, and Fajr. That peace and tranquility and will prevail in the world until Fajr enter. That night, a single night will they come inside the one old year. We get such speciality, we get such value, we get such power. We will make me and you, we well prepare ourselves, we tighten up ourselves for and so say, we, this particular night here will be done at all costs. Respectable brothers and sisters in Islam, this same night again in the scribe and for say, man qabaha iman wa ahtisaiba wa ufira law wa taqaddam min dhabbin. That anybody who will spend this night in the worship of Allah, it's not be prayed to Allah. Then they forgive them for in sins they will be to say it and commit. It also the among the activities where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam engaged himself 
inside a beautiful night say so of Ramadan. You be engage yourself with plenty nafila worship them, plenty prayer, plenty recitation of the Holy Quran. Of course, you been they receive a stranger when a Jibril alayhi salam every single night when they can revise the Quran with them. It be also they engage in plenty dikrullah and plenty dua. And one of the best of dua that we find for late, most of engage in self inside them beautiful nights here for late. We say, Allahumma inna ka afuun to hibbul afwa fa afu anna. This is come from an authentic hadith of Mama Aisha radiallahu anha. The Axi Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Rasulullah. He said, Araayt in ana al adraktu la ta qadri mada akul. He said, You see, if a taller witness not to qadri, what's in a for say? At the time, he teach him for it. He said, Allahumma o Allah. Innaka afuun, la yuna diwa wa di pardon. To him will afwa, you lack for pardon. Fa afwa on me, pardon me. Pardon me, forgive me for all of my sins and where I don't commit. This is the clearly tell me for say Ramadan actually come for wipe off for sins. Because we look at the hadith, they all we combine together. For teach me and you how Ramadan they help for clean we from the sins where we, we don't commit in plenty so much, in plenty so much. All my Allah make clear me and you. We will for understanding Tia, and able for apply and we life seven and able for do the best we will be able for do inside the beautiful night say as well. I could look out the hand that was stuck with Allah Ali Walaku. Walisa Eli Muslim and Kuli the mere first stuck with in the whole of the Rahim. الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له تعظيما لشأنه وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله داعي لرضوانه صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وإخوانه وبعض respectable family brothers and sisters in Islam then beautiful night say ah, my great, great opportunity for me and you for let we empower the soul. For let we put more power inside. Him. All along with the empower we believe, with the food that we eat and the drink that we will drink, when we seek we go to hospital for we get medication, all that empowerment stay in the body, with the final say the mortal man feel small thing happen to him body in the torment. But how many of me and you, they feel when something happened to the soul? How many of me and you, they feel that pain, they say the soul, they pass trouble, the soul, they pass starve, the soul gets some pain where it feel. Them beautiful nights say an opportunity for me and you, for let we strengthen the soul, for let keep on strong, for let keep on healthy, for let keep on powerful, so that then they will be able to keep we for the rest of the year, inshallah ta'ala. Ramadan provide for me and you the opportunities them. And then beautiful nights say also the opportunity they increase. They increase for me and you will get your soul more powerful and more strong. Ibn Qayyim Rahimahullah, one great scholar, he give me three principles that will help we for let me empower with soul them. Then three principles say yeah. the first one he call them the power. He call him Hibz al that is for preserve the energy, for preserve the power. Just like how the mother man in body, he need food for lay, he, be, he will be strong and able to move around and do something. Now, so again, the soul, he need food. What in the food of the soul, what is this food will we eat? Rather, the worship say will be the careful inside there. Now, the worship say will be to say we they do. And we see how them worship say yes, so they in abundance for me. You said this month of Ramadan. We pray, Alhamdulillah. We get the Tarawih, we get the five daily prayers, then we get the Qiyam Ulay, the Dua, then Pantab, the fasting during the daytime. All of them worship say yes, so with the inside this wonderful month of Ramadan, and especially inside the night say, it bring up more power and more power to the soul. And that make the night say yes, so get very little for do with people. Left. Get very little for do with the world. Focus on how your soul will be strong and powerful. Within we have to do that, we engage yourself all the time, either with the Quran, 
either you they pray, either you they make dua, either you they make dikrullah at all times. Then after that, check your heart. Check how you they feel inside you. You will begin to feel that flavor. Where you go make if small thing touch you so you feel the pain. The second one, they call up alhimia. Just like how the Muslim body, where it they feed, it they eat, it they drink, then tendency they for let it sick, and when it's sick, it they go to the hospital, go take care of your body. And so again, the fasting inside month of Ramadan, it provides that kind of a preservation day for the mother man and soul. The Prophet said, Allah said, I'm telling you, say, As-Sawmu Junna. The word Junna simply means barrier. That is the fasting, it they make a barrier between you and all the odd things and all the things that will make the soul feel sick. They fasting, they block them things and they, and how it they do them? It they do them in the way we be to say, when you fast, the blood vessels have inside your body, the circulation of blood, it is slow down. And when it is slow down, it is slow Satan in power inside for you. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell you about authentic hadith, he said, inna shaytana yajri fil insani majrad dam. He said, the Satan, it is circulated by your body, like how the blood is circulated by your body. So when you reduce the movement of the blood, and so you de deactivate Satan inside your system, and then they get much power at all. So that they help to keep you well preserved. Well preserved. Now that makes the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that this advice to give to the youth man them. When they're able to marry it, he say, Ya ma ashir al-shabab, man istata'a minkum al-ba'ata fal yatazawwaj, fa inna ghaddu al-basar wa ahsar al-fard, wa man lam yastati' fa alihi bisawm, fa inna hu lahu wija'a. He said, when they youth man, they were able to marry him. When go ahead and marry him, he said, that they help to control him and preserve him. But when they were able to marry him, they were like fast. Fasting is in the remedy, in the alternative for marriage. For you, when they youth man, because the fasting is the block, the, the, the feeling for you, and it makes you, you know, they get that feeling they, for that you do the things they will be to say and are correct. So now, so fasting is the help to preserve the Muslim body. Then the next one, when this scholar talk about the things they will empower the soul, a column is the frau with mawabil fasida for release the waste product. Just like how the mortal man body where they eat and drink, it need for attend to number one and number two for let it release that waste product. They what in the body no want to pull and cover for let the body go keep up strong and healthy. Similarly, so the soul again thinks they what you know what you need for pull and cover. That is the sin that we will commit. The mistakes them, the blunders they will happen in our life. Each and every one of them, one a day, it will go dirty the soul. So the soul needs for clean itself. And there comes the Ramadan. And the fasting and all of the worship say, so we provide me and you, for me and you the chance for them to clean the body. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man sawma Ramadan imana wa ahtisaba wa ufiru lahum wa taqaddaba min dhambi. Anybody who fasts Ramadan with iman, he do that for with Allah and pleasure, and they forgive him for his sins, he don't commit. Wa Ramadan ila Ramadan. Kafarat to be my bay nahuma from one Ramadan to another Ramadan, they really wipe off all the sins away don't commit. Man kama lela to kadri. Anybody will grab a prayer letter to kadri night and they forgive him for his sins away don't commit. All the opportunities they ask today for me and you, then on top the the free world meter, the free we next them from hellfire inside them particular nights, say also, then towards the end of Ramadan is Zakat and Fitr way the key for purify all of the worships them and clean everything. All of that they help and contribute for clean his soul so that his soul now he don't become empowered. It's plenty of worship, he don't get what he do preserve him, then he don't get what he do excrete and release all of what he the soul no want for keep him strong and powerful throughout the year. This is not the time for me and you, brothers and sisters in Islam. Then we don't joke with them, then we really make very good use of them. Not we don't go find for me at all. Let me not go regret. At the end of Ramadan, the one day we will be careless up and go regret up. But you will be actually take up upon the Ramadan and do your best. You don't go ever regret up because the reward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will promise you. The reward they will give you what he will promise you. Almighty Allah make we all get the goodness of this wonderful month of Ramadan. Let us want to strengthen the souls and empower them.